short no, no, no. this conversation. No, not hey, over. But I need to short circuit the conversation. Sure. You know why? Tyrese Maxey has put the headset on and is joining us from Philadelphia ahead of this uh, ahead of this game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And uh, Tyrese, thank you very much. Uh, look, we've talked about your numbers and the kind of year you're having. Uh, tenth in scoring, eleventh in assists, third in free throw percentage, number two in plus minus, and you're playing more minutes per game than anybody in the league. Uh, safe to say that in year four, you've never had this much fun in your career? Oh, man. I'm having a blast out here, man, honestly. Uh, I have a blast every time I play. Step on the basketball court, though. What's up, what's up? Every time I step on the court, so it just even been even more fun because we've been winning, been successful, guys are happy, guys are playing for each other, so it's been great. Tyree Shaq here. Tell us how you felt when you got the call that James was being traded and you are now the captain of the ship. You went from limited shots to shooting the ball anytime you want. Tell us how that felt when you got that call. Uh, you know, it's just crazy, kind of surreal. Like, you know, starting the season not knowing if he was going to play or not, um, and then him not playing and me going out there having, like, full bat, like, ball having responsibilities. Um, it was great, you know what I'm saying? I love James, though. He taught me so much. And uh, I appreciate his time here because he may be a better basketball player. Tyrese, have you figured out the difference between I know I can score anytime I want to or when I can try to score and make somebody else better get them a wide open shot? Uh, yeah, for me right now, honestly, um, you know, I'm pretty confident in getting myself going. So early in games, I try to go out there and get my teammates going and, like, Tobias, get him get early shots, big fella, get him going early because we're going to need him late in the games. And then once I get in with the second unit, I know I got to be ultra aggressive. So I'm kind of confident in doing both of those things right now. Well, Tyrese Kenny here, I just want to first, it's a comment more than a question, congratulate you on the season so far because this summer I got an opportunity to walk in a gym uh, with my son Malloy, and it was like noon. And I talked, you were working out with Sam Cassell, and he said, oh, this is his third workout already. And so everyone thinks, oh, just because you got the ball in your hand, you're now playing better. Your third workout, it was at noon already. So right. congratulations on putting the work in. Man, I appreciate that, OG. I appreciate that. I mean, I tell everybody, what you do in the dark always comes to light. And uh, I've been working my tail off for a very, very long time. And now being out here having success is a pretty good feeling. Hey, last thing from me, Tyrese. Look, there's a stat for everything these days. I wonder if you know this one. How many miles a game do you run? Uh, ooh, at least three. At least That's three, best of the that is exactly it. He runs, he covers three miles per game, see, which is I mean, number yeah. one wow. in the league. That's see, that, number that, one. That, that, that's yeah. just a, you know, the useful no, stat. No, it's not, Chuck. It's a great <laughs> stat, isn't it, Tyrese? Hey, Chuck, you love that. that. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> First of all, what kind of loser sitting around counting your miles anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Tyrese, right, get, your, get your miles in and do it with a smile as you always do, man. We appreciate talking to you. Thanks. We'll do. Appreciate talking. Y'all be safe.